This is CBS Atlanta News, Saturday at 8 a.m. Right now on CBS Atlanta News, Saturday morning, a winter storm pounding parts of the country, causing freezing temperatures here at home, and it's going to turn even colder, friends. Ugh, say it isn't so. So what do you do to protect your home, your car, and stay warm? We talk to experts about winterizing the most important things in your life. And, Jim, we will need it because it is freezing this morning and it's just going to get colder. Yeah, I think with today, probably a big run at the store, not for the bread and the milk, yeah. but probably for the winter gear. I was in, what, <laughs> Dick's and Academy and Target, and, I mean, the shelves are cleaned with any right. warm weather gear. And we'll need more of that by tomorrow night and Monday for that morning commute on Monday. We're talking wind chills in the teens, possibly. And by Tuesday morning, wind chills easily well below zero, so a big change developing. The first change today, the sunshine we had this morning last hour or so is now moving on out and you can see that uh, the clouds are rolling in as part of that winter weather story across the country this morning. Uh, let's go to the uh, weather maps if we can and uh, find out. Let's see here first off on that weather perspective and there we see those sunshine this morning and the clouds rolling in from the south and southeast. Right now atop Atlanta we had some sun last hour now back to kind of a partly cloudy sky temperatures upper 20s mid 20s across the metro region. 22 our temperature at Midtown 25 right now at the airport in Atlanta is down to 16 now in Rome 26 in Athens also 26 on the Grange and a 27 run here at LJ Canton down to Carrollton this morning again the clouds with us right now but no precept the next big weather change is back off to our north and west cold air here on the map is moving south and eastward by tomorrow all these temperatures around 10 to 20 degrees they'll be below zero and by monday and tuesday they'll be double digit below zero so a big change coming first for us the change starts today with the sunshine and clouds back and forth by tomorrow at midday a couple sprinkles in the air and then we'll take you hour by hour for sunday night and into monday so tomorrow looks mostly to be a rain event starting after three o'clock for the atlanta metro area and then by monday night excuse me sunday night into monday morning now that rain to snow once again from about raven county to let's say floyd county here so again a bit of snow maybe upwards of an inch across our northern corridor up across that tennessee georgia border that will come again early on monday morning and then all that starts to sweep out by monday morning monday afternoon so this will be a short-lived event but the timing is the issue being monday morning back to work and back to school for most folks we're talking about that big change which could be some icy conditions out there again on that monday morning commute now today some sunshine but still chilly a high only around around 44 degrees tomorrow. Look for rain to return after 3 o'clock. Your high not much better, but back to more typical conditions around 52 for that Sunday afternoon. There the change of temperatures come down to 27 for a high on Monday, 9 for a low on Monday night, and then 24 for a high on Tuesday, down to about 12 or so for a low on Tuesday night, and then the cold air moves out. We get back to at least a uh, more bearable temperature pattern on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Ooh, now, black ice, are we going to see any of that this morning, or could we potentially see that? We're okay this morning, but tomorrow night we might see more of that. That's when we could have the yeah, problems. And that's why the, that commute on Monday, everyone back right. to normal schedule on Monday, could, could be, be treacherous. Serious, serious, yeah. Yeah, serious issues. Well, the Northeast still recovering from that big winter storm. Mm. It created a huge travel mess and led to lots of school cancellations and, of course, those frigid temperatures. Mm. And we have a little bit of good news. We did just check with Hartsville Jackson, and most flights in and out of the Northeast are on time this morning. That, okay. of course, after several days of delays and cancellations. The storm hit hard with the death toll now up to 16 from that winter weather. One Massachusetts town saw coastal flooding and snow. Look at that. And in Boston, it may be as cold as six below mm. zero today. Enjoy it. Yeah, after a very heavy snowfall. Now the parents, they're not loving this, but the kids, they don't seem to mind. It's colder for the parents that are watching than the kids. The kids could go.